my channel. Today I'm going to be trying some aerial silks and I'm going to be here with Phoebe who's going to be coaching me and teaching me some stuff and we'll see how we get on. We started off our session by putting a mat underneath the silks so, you know, I don't die and then untying the silks which was actually really satisfying. We then did a quick warm up with some cardio exercises to get our heart rates up followed by some stretches. After the warm up we did some shoulder rotations on the silks. This definitely felt very different to me because I wasn't used to turning my shoulder around like that and shoulder flexibility isn't really something that I work on that much as a gymnast. start this climb kind of confused me because I didn't know how to wrap my foot around the silks properly and it felt a bit surreal to me because it's like you're stepping on nothing. On my next try though I felt a lot more confident and the climb made a lot more sense. So step, push it out. At the beginning, this climb confused me even more than the last one because you had to wrap your foot twice in this one. After a bit though, it started making more sense, but even so, we settled on doing the first climb because I just felt that it was more efficient and easier to get up the silks. Next up, I tried some straddles. Honestly, this kind of scared me because although I'm somewhat used to hanging upside down when holding onto a bar, to me, hanging upside down from the silks made me feel like I had to rely a lot more on my hands and if I slipped, I'd have slid down onto my head. Now it was time to try this hip lock and it is a lot harder than it looks. Reach for the silk, knee up. Yes, knees together now, cross your legs. As you can see here, I was struggling quite a bit and found it hard to cross my legs and I kept sliding closer and closer towards the floor until I finally got it. Next, it was time to try some footlocks and the splits. First, Phoebe put me into a footlock to see how it felt. I found this quite straightforward because it felt a bit like doing a split handstand, but the right way up, if that makes sense. Then I learned how to put myself into a footlock and get into the splits position on the silks on my own. The next move we did was sort of similar to the one before, but this time we wrapped the silks around our hips twice whilst in the splits position. Next up was my very first drop. So, We first tried the wraps close to the floor and then we moved it higher up the silks. To me, the hardest part was actually sitting up and it felt a lot like being in a harness but slightly more comfy. Then you're going to go all the way around and you're going to have wide arms and we're going to catch the palms again. Yeah, go so wide arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. 
So after we did some silks, it was time to get the rope up and try some stuff on there. I started with just practicing the climbs on the rope to get used to gripping it and let me tell you, this rope is so much easier to climb than if you ever do rope climbs at gym because it's got a much nicer grip. Then we did some side swings and front to back swings. I don't really know why, but I found these really hard and I couldn't really get into the flow of it for some reason. Maybe because I found it a bit weird that when you move, the rope moves with you, if that makes sense. And it just felt a bit awkward. The next skill we tried was a swizzle, which looks like this. This all the way around, you did half this. After some swizzles, we tried this move where you do an arabesque on the rope and then you hook your toe on and do a straddle position like this. Next up, Phoebe showed me some of the skills she had been working on on aerial silks and rope before I tried my big drop. Finally, it was time to learn a double drop. Here you had to start with your armpits in a loop, then hook your feet on and try to sit up. The first time I tried it with just one rotation and then we tried it again but with both the rotations. By this point my arms were getting really tired so I found it really hard to sit up but eventually I made it. This go I accidentally opened my arms out too early so we tried it again. I actually love trying aerial so much. I think my favorite part was that when you're in a position, you feel quite secure, even though you're literally being held by ropes tied to the ceiling. I also really enjoyed trying the drops because I think as a gymnast, I'm quite used to flying through the air. But with drops, you sort of don't have to focus as much, if that makes sense, because, because the hard part is getting the wrap right. And once you've done that, you sort of just drop and you have to trust the silks, which I think is really cool. I think the flexibility and strength that I've learned from gymnastics also helps me a lot with doing aerial. But with this, the muscles you need to engage and the way you engage them is quite different because aerial's more movement-based rather than strength-based like gymnastics. What I found really scary was hanging upside down from the silks or the rope where I had to use just my hands to prevent me from sliding down. Because I feel like compared to my feet and legs, my hands aren't very strong, so that was quite scary. Also, I just want to say a huge thank you to Phoebe for letting me come and teaching me all those amazing skills. I would definitely recommend trying aerial to pretty much anyone. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below for more gymnastics and tumbling videos and videos of me trying things that I've never tried before like this one and you can also follow me on Instagram or TikTok for more con content like this. See you in my next video, bye!